All right, man, let's do it. Rurani, what's up, man? Our skiz, no, Persona 5 continues tomorrow afternoon. Yep, tomorrow afternoon for Persona 5. We're gonna give it a, a good amount of time. Oh, I'm supposed to be sitting on that little thing? Okay. I don't see it, where is it? Is it over here? Is it over there? Over there? Over there? Where is it? It's over here somewhere. I think it's over there. Okay. Boop. A wild chorus, the birth of a monster. In that moment, the final strand is cut. A burst of clarity. The horror of your recent existence dawns upon you. Escape is all you can think of. Um... The tentacles flail wildly in the water. People drop to their knees, some through fear, others with adulation. Their god is manifest. You watch from your position of privilege on a private balcony. You notice your two bodyguards are distracted and enraptured. Strike them down. Flee this accursed place. Instinctively grabbing something, you smash it down on the head of the first guard. Shocked. S shocked surprise registers on the second before he too is down. You are unsure whether they are dead or unconscious. You feel a drip from your fingers. You look down at your impoverished weapon, a small idol of father. It is cracked and has cut your hand. You are drifting, but something inside you snaps you back into reality. You have to move fast. The cells offer the safest route to freedom. Flee. You stride into prison with feigned authority. No matter the place is unguarded in our, no there, moment of triumph. Escaping along would be futile. Alone would be futile. So you grab the keys from the guard room and approach the prisoners. Who will you unlock first? I'm the severed one? Okay. Um, so our skills are navigation, reload, so that's a weapon, okay, repair, and melee. And then there's this other one for healing. Um, let's go with a Ship bro. Oh, I can get three. Uh, a melee bro. And a surgeon bro. Okay, okay, okay. And it says all these things down here too. Great, okay. Okay. You and your new companions surge through the labyrinthine passages. Finally, a door. Light seeps through its cracks in the frame. Burst through the door. You close your eyes for a moment as the sea brushes your face. Looking down the winding path ahead, you see what you had hoped for, a ship at anchor. It was likely stolen and repurposed by the cult. Time to put it to better use. Right click somewhere on the deck of the ship. Okay. Cut the ropes that attach the ship to the jetty. Select a crew member and right click on where the ropes are attached. There. Cool. Now man the ship's wheel to make a good escape. Where's my, are you my ship bro? Yeah, go. Yeah, there it is. Okay, awesome. Dampire, Monty TM, Niners fan, and Shade gifting a sub to Lord Azriel. That is awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Dozens of furious cultists charge the jetty as you pull away. A high priest at their head. His scream reaches your ears and drips with scorn. Heed me, betrayer. Our father knows and sees you always. You will never escape his embrace. As he speaks, the other cultists disperse, no doubt to begin their pursuit on their own vessels. They'll be sending ships after us. Let us get out of here. The coastal fortifications open fire on the ship as it leaves the jetty. Mortar shells are incoming. A mortar shell has reduced a crew member to zero health. When this happens, you have a short time to stabilize them. When a crew member is stabilized, they will remain unconscious throughout the battle, but will survive. If you do not stabilize them in time, they will die. But don't worry, in this one instance, we will freeze the bar before it runs out. Medbro, go! There we go. 
The barrage has damaged the ship's hull. In the bottom left of the screen is a bar that shows the hull health. If this bar is empty, the ship will sink. Okay. The ship is divided into sections. In the bottom right, the sections and their individual health are displayed. Section information, se section health influences the performance of everything in that section. Yellow means it's 50% effective. Red health means it won't function at all. Ooh. Okay. Repairs will go faster the more crew is there. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, there's the bar. Okay, well, I... Uh... Uh, boot... I can't... What, 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 stop it! Hey, you stop it! Here we go. Bar! Okay, cool. The barrage has also injured one of the crew. The crew health can be seen around the icon above their head. You can heal crew by sending them to the sick bay medical table. Okay. Cool. Oh, left side's out of the ship. Got it, right over here. It's not over yet, take cover. Damn! We've been hit with a weapon that causes hull cracks. These splinters, the, these splinter the deck and make the ship take on water. There's a water gauge above the hull health. If this reaches the top, the ship will sink. Okay. Listen out for the ship bell. This will warn you when our water gauges reach critical levels. The bell will also sound when your hull health is dangerously low. Go, 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 go. You can lower the water level by manning the pumps at the back of the ship. Awesome. Okay. Okay. We're nearly out of range. One more barrage incoming. Uh, we've been struck by a weapon with a f with flaming ammunition, and a fire has broken out. Fire damages sections and injures crews. They will spread unless your crew can extinguish it. Okay. Oh, he's on the ship wheel. Whoops. Okay. There we go. Cool. Right of range, but stay alert, man. Wait, click the the what button? Oh, up here. Okay. Boop. You are in great danger while you're so close to the cult fortress. Leave the area immediately. This is the exploration mode. Move your ship by clicking on an area. If you prefer, you can hold down the mouse button and your ship will move towards wherever your position of the cruiser is. Very cool. You can view the whole map by clicking on the whole map button. Can I just like sail into this stuff? Oh, that was terrible. Wait, what? That's the whole map? This is a map of the immediate area. If you wish to travel to a new area, you must move through the gate that has been highlighted at the bottom of the screen. The other gates cannot be opened yet. Okay. Ooh. The gate is locked. Locked gates can be opened by completing a set number of events. This is an event marker. Left click on it to sail to it. This will trigger the event. No, I'm going to sail around here first. I'm going to look around. Damn right. Uh, by the way, if anyone needed any proof, pretty clearly uh, this game is showing us the earth is flat. So if you needed proof, just tell them to play abandoned ship. If you ever find a Flat Earth doubter, just tell them to play Abandoned Ship. Done. They're convinced. Your job is done. Okay. Look at all the... I want to see what all this stuff is, man. What is that thing? Hmm. 
Ko, you're in a spot where people take you seriously, so please be serious. I don't think anyone could possibly take anyone seriously that says the Earth is flat. Please. I, I, that, that is, that is so into joke territory that, uh, yeah. I, I don't think I need to worry about that one. Thanks, though. <laughs> Not only is the Earth flat, it also has a beautiful frame, okay? For the record. For the record. <clears throat> Proof is right here. Proof is in the pudding. Yes, it is. Your uncle thinks the earth is flat? Well, you have a dumb uncle. No offense. Um, but he's not the brightest light bulb in the box. Yeah. It's okay, though. I'm, I'm dumb about plenty of things, too. Yeah. It's okay. We all are. Hmm. So I'm picking up a resource, but I'm not sure what this resource is. But it's a resource, so therefore I want all of it. Yep. There it is again. We got 20 gray circle. <clears throat> Fantastic. Oh, it's plunder. Okay, cool. Don't hit the frame. Oh, we, we can't sail off the side. That's too bad. Oh, it's a sack of gold? Cool. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, well, that's the whole map uncovered. Alright, let's see what this is. Boop! A patrolling cult ship has stumbled upon us. Man the guns, we owe them no mercy. Remember the lessons you have learned so far. Can I pause the game? Oh, we can. Nice. Okay, let's get Co on guns. Ship bro on ship. You on guns too, and med bro... On more guns! Man the cannons facing the enemy. One crew member can man an entire battery of cannons. Left click a crew member with right click on the... Okay, I'm already doing that. Great. Beautiful. Can we not man these? Weapons will reload if someone is manning them and the section health is not in red. Keep the cannons manned until their reloading bar turns blue. Okay. Cool. We're waiting for these to fill up. Hey, shovel holder, what's up, man? Ow! Now the weapons are loaded, open fire. Left click on the weapon button to select it. The mouse cursor will turn into a crosshair. Move this over the enemy ship and right click to confirm the order. Boom! Ah, yes! Boom! Ah, yes. Pause the game by pressing spacebar. You can also click the highlighted pause button. Once you dismiss the message, you can issue some orders while the game is paused. Makes use of this as things are spiraling out of control. Remember that each crewman has a specialty. A crewman assigned to their specialist role will confer bonuses. The efficiency will often mean the difference between glory and the briny depths. Hover the mouse over the highlighted icons in the bottom left of the screen to see their skills. Okay. You can hover the mouse over any object or UI element to gain additional information. Okay. Great. We want to get close to the enemy ship. The distance bar on the far left uh, shows you how far away you are from them. You can set your target distance by clicking on the buttons. Click on the highlighted button to move to close range. The ship cannot perform maneuvers or change distance unless someone is manning the wheel. Okay. Oh, we going in, boys. Uh, the enemy wants to keep their distance, so we're moving away from you. In the top right of the screen is the enemy section health. We can catch up to them if we damage their mast section. Man the chain shot swivel gun and get it fully loaded. Oh, shit. Do that first. Actually, let's do this. Oh, they auto fire. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. Maybe that. And water is gone. All right, you go on those. The 
chain shot can only aim at the sails, but deals high damage to them. When it's ready to fire, left click on the weapon button to select it, move the cursor over the sails, and the crosshair turns white, right click to fire. Keep firing your chain shot until the enemy mass section is damaged into the red. Boom! Did that not work? Boom! There it goes. Shit. Nice. Swivel gun grape shot. Damaging their mass section to the red made it easier to catch up. Now you're close distance. Uh, the swivel gun will be in range. Your other swivel gun will be in range. This one is a grape shot. It's an anti-personnel weapon. Oh, Lord. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Ow. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, we got a right click. Boop. Yes. Damn, that was awesome. Ow. Ram the enemy. You can perform this special maneuver like this when the maneuver bar is full. Okay. The maneuver bar is charged when someone is manning the helm. Some of the high navigation skill will fill the bar faster. Okay. So it's still charging. There. Now what? Ha! Now the bar is fully charged, maneuvers become available. When you're ready, press the highlight button to ram. Ramming, ramming damages the enemy hull. Oh. Doesn't do anything to ours? One moment. Certain actions like ramming cause a brace for impact test. Failing the test means crew fall to the deck, temporarily interrupting what they're doing. When a brace occurs, the highlighted button will become active. Um. Press it in time, otherwise you will fail the test. Okay. Cool. The enemy failed their brace test. The impact even caused one of their crew to be knocked overboard. They can man the winch at the back of the ship to save them. If they don't make it in time, they will drown. Your own winch is highlighted. If any of your crew are in the water, be sure to man the winch and rescue them. Now finish them off. You can pull back and keep shooting at this range. Uh, Wait, or at this range, you can even choose to board them. You can, you can triumph by killing all the enemy crew, destroying the hull, or making it take too much water. Ah, oh, yeah! Get him! Woo! Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, yes! It's my ship now, boys! Woo! Grab what you can to be quick about it. More ships are on the way. At the end of battle, you were able to salvage anything of value in this tutorial combat. Uh, the enemy did not react as aggressively as they would normally, so be prepared for a tougher fight next time. Got some booty! You don't need to worry about repairing your sections or healing your crew. That happens automatically when you go back to the exploration map. As long as you have water pumps, going back to exploration mode will automatically empty your water gauge, too. Great! Okay. Well, that's awesome. Cool. This is the world map. It shows which other exploration areas you can travel to from your current gate. Travel between maps is a supplies cost. Left click on another map to set your destination. Hmm. You announce to the crew that you need to take stock and are not to be disturbed. In the captain's cabin, you find some clean clothes, most likely belonging to the poor previous occupant before the cult had their way with the ship. It feels good to finally be out of your flowing ceremonial robes. You store them neatly away, knowing they may have their use yet. Examine yourself in the mirror. Oh, cool. You are the severed one. Once devotion to the father was all the future you needed. Now something has changed. You are no longer an unquestioning crucial part of the whole. Now you are severed and free. 
You don't even recognize the face looking back at you. Who are, were you? All you're certain of is that your past was stolen away by a being known as the Father. Some spark within you pierced the fog of your blind devotion. Now you must kindle it. If you're to have any chance of remaking yourself, then the hunt for answers and revenge can begin. You re-emerged onto the deck, and the crew snapped to attention. We may have escaped, you begin, but we are not safe yet. We must make port, then go our separate ways. It's me thereafter. You return to your cabin and slump into a chair. Moments later, a strong undercurrent of exhaustion pulls you into a deep sleep. Still loved and always in his thoughts, you were the first, but he knew something within you had changed. Thus, you were marginalized, became a symbolic icon with no real power. You didn't care. Something in you was gaining strength. Little by little, the fog was clearing. Hmm. A sharp knock on your door snaps you awake. Moments later, you stride back onto deck to issue commands. The cult fortress is far from inhabited lands. We'll need to navigate through open waters before we can find a port. This is the Lone Ship View. It allows you to change your default settings that will be used in combat. Preferred distance. Okay. Uh, I... Sure. Saving crew positions means they will start in those chosen places. Okay, we'll put you here. Put you here. And you here. Save. Uh, the highlight button can be used to bring the ship about. In battle, this can only be performed if your maneuver bar is fully charged. Here you can set your preference side to face the enemy when you start battle. This can be useful if you equip each side with different styles of weapons. Oh, that's cool. Huh. Was that in the game yet? Maybe. By the way, good time to ask. Um, you must continue trying to escape the cult by fleeing from this exploration map. Locate the exit gate and complete the required number of events to unlock it. Um... How done is this game? It's early access, right? Um, like it. How how much can I play this? Because this is really cool so far. This is really cool so far. Both sides are the same right now. Oh, okay, okay, cool, great. It's more of an alpha currently. Okay, so it's kind of like Dead Cells. We'll probably play it for a few hours and then wait for more content. All right, cool. I gotta say, man, this game has a lot of potential so far. Like, this is this is really pretty cool so far. What is this? Oh, these are the gates. This is the world map. Okay. By the way, Nocturnal! Thank you very much. Um, who sings the intro song? Oh, that's Asking Alexandria, A Lesson Never Learned, and it's the Cell Dweller remix. And thank you very much for that, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, Camouflage Ninja with a thousand cheer. Thank you. Bastard 84 Jur. Thank you, man. And Shadow of Pain with the brand new sub. Welcome to our community, dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. All right, so it looks like we got to do these. What's this? The tension on the ship is palpable as two cult ships have been spotted in a hunting pattern. They're some distance apart, but already converging in your position. What will you do? Our only hope is to deliver a knockout blow to the first ship before dealing with the second. Boom! Why are we doing it, man? Oh, God, my ship is backwards. Um, I'm smart. No, wait, no, no. you stay there. Stay there. Okay. Ship will unmanned. No, you go there. Now, let's see, this one is fine. Like right there. What are those? Ah! Those are super painful. Um, oh, that's way too far, isn't it? No, we can go.
You're an auto fire, right? Good. Do you auto fire? No, chain shot does not auto fire. We didn't take that out, did we? No, not yet. Wow, we got a while to go. A while to go on that. Is anything leaking? Nope, we're good. We're good. Go all the way in, man. Let's do it. Oh, they're repairing it. Hardcore. Look at that. Damn. Is it single player only? I think so, yeah. Can I aim at the enemy cannons? I I think that's what I'm trying to do. I think. We're blowing up this side of the ship right now, so. I'm trying to get close in so we can use our, uh, what is this? Oh, flee the battle? No, I wanna I wanna do this. Yeah. Brace for impact. Boom! Oh god, my dude! Save my dude! Um, dude? Oh, dude. There's no time to gather your plunder for the second ship is upon you. Will you stand and declare for dou double the riches or flee because your life is more valuable than treasure? Let's do it, man. Ship is already on war footing. Attack. Oh, good. He came back. Okay. Man, I got to redo our ship thing. I'll do that in a minute. Let's move you up to here to get him ready. Well, I think actually we'll put him up here. We might as well use this until we get close enough. I would never let you drown. I would never let you down. I would never run around or desert you. Give me a break. Dude, their, their cannons look a lot different. Almost there. Go to here. Go to here. Go to here. Yeah. Doosh, doosh. Doosh, doosh. Dude, our ship is hurting. It is hurting. Singing songs for this day for a while, lads, and there's more than enough salvage booty, yes, including Grog, to go around. Great. Okay, that was awesome. Um, let's do Lone Ship View, rotate it back around. There we go. I think we did. Hopefully. I think. Um, yeah, our hull is like super, super damaged. Hmm. 
Hmm. How do we repair it? I got to repair. Can I do that here? Hmm. Oh, there are repair ports. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Let's find one. Thanks, chat. Leave me a repair port. Mr. John Day with the two years today. Thank you for that, dude. Uh, we also have GI Suck with the 28 months. Thank you, man. And it has really been that long. I know, dude. It's kind of wild. It's kind of uh, kind of wild. And Schwa. Thank you as well. Thank you as well. Oh, I've played Space Rangers. Pelagius. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. I played that game. It was pretty fun. Not really a game I'd want to stream. It's a little bit slow with the turn base, but yeah. Fun game. Mm -hmm. Hey, Valendreth, how you been? Hey, Vince Cialini, how are you, sir? Good to see you, bud. Hmm. Is this game big? I, dude, I've been playing this game for 40 minutes. It seems really cool so far, but I, I'm still very much in the learning part of it. Uh, did I just miss the port? Uh, maybe over here? Maybe down here? Oh, there's not a port on every map. Oh. Oh my. Well, I have to repair before I fight again, or I'm going to 